Do athletes and prominent figures have an obligation to be vocal in their activism? I think that no person, no black person has an obligation to what people consider to be an activist. So many people have a depiction of what an activist looks like, marching in the streets, showing up with picket fences. Mm -hmm. And when it came to 2020, it was black screens all over our Instagram feeds. Facts. And when it comes to people who are athletes, you are already doing what activists need you to do, being black. So it's exactly what black people are fighting for, the, the actuality to exist and be black inside of these spaces and be able to earn these awards, earn these medals, be able to do the sports you want to do. So I don't think that any black athlete has an obligation, but I do believe that people with platforms do have an obligation to speak out when there is an injustice because there are so many people, grassroots organizers, yep. people who are on the streets 24 seven, black trans women, mm -hmm. black women, black men, so many people who are out here who don't have the opportunity to be in these rooms with 13.4K million followers and all this, all this other stuff when it comes to Instagram, Twitter. And that's the specific thing that comes with Gen Z and the generation that we are in now. We have so much, so much leverage when it comes to social media that we have now. So it's just, why not? Just a simple story post. You sure, know? okay, yeah. all right, that's a safe answer. Um, so to piggyback off of that, um, it's really about the platform. So I feel like the bigger the platform you have, it's, it's hard to say if it should be their obligation, but it's just, you know, LeBron James should know that there's a bunch of little black girls and black boys and black fathers and black mothers that look to him to kind of, you know, hopefully you're setting a good example for my child on and off the court. And I, you know, what he's been doing, and I'm only using his name because, you know, he is one of our big, our biggest athletes right now. And, you know, he's definitely been using his platform to speak out about, you know, a lot of things that have been going on for forever. And, you know, there's a mm -hmm. lot of, there's a, yep. a lot of athletes who are also now bec becoming more comfortable with speaking out because they see, Everyone was like scared what happened with Colin, that it could happen with them. But now it's kind of like, you can either, you, if you can't beat them, join them. And I think that more athletes, more black athletes are leaning towards the side where, well, they can't really beat us at this point. So we're gonna keep speaking out until we can't, we literally can't anymore. But the more, the more and more of us are speaking out, it's only gonna attract more people trying to do the same. And then at that, at that point, now y'all just gotta jump on our wave, like the okay. NFL, we now see is kind of taking another. The tables are turning a little bit. The Still message that they were sending, you know, with Colin is not the same okay. tune that they're sending but, right now. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's true, that's true, and I think y'all both raise you know equally good points. But just because someone is is a celebrity or a successful athlete, top, does it do does it mean that they have to be vocal in no. their activism? See, my perspective on that is basically notoriety doesn't equate to knowledge notoriety doesn't equate to morality, right? So- Can you talk about that first part a little bit more? Yeah, so just because you're notable as a person doesn't mean you have knowledge on the subject. So you could be doing more damage than good. So you have to take it from an individual yeah. level, right? 